So my name is Ariel, for those who don't know me, and I'm in this Mazda's third grade. Uh, so, uh, I want you guys to imagine this guy. I've never worked with him his entire life. Uh, so let's call him Billy. Um, so one day he got a call from uh, from one of his relatives saying that uh, one of his uh, aunts uh, actually died. Uh, so he actually inherited all his all her money and ended up with thousands and hundreds of dollars just because of a relative. Um, so yeah, he's never worked a day in his life, and now he has all these luxuries, all this, he, he, recently, bought, he recently bought a car, he bought a mansion, and huh. he has all this money, but he has never worked a day in his life. But he has one problem, um, he's, he's sad. He feels like he hasn't contributed anything to this society or as, as of like work-wise or like just nothing. He hasn't put in anything towards this, um, towards this earth or yeah, this society. Um, um, so this way, uh, this scenario leads me with a dozen, a dozen of questions. So like, can Billy, Billy even be considered uh, successful? Can he? Why, why is he unhappy if he has all this money? Um, what's his purpose? Like, what, what is he trying to uh, get at? Um, so the moral of the story, uh, or the st uh, story I'm trying to get at is, um, so he's very unhappy with this situation uh, because he feels like he hasn't contributed anything to the world. And uh, next one. Four years ago, this, I found myself like I found myself in the same position. So, um, as you guys know, or some of, some of you guys know, I'm very passionate about soccer. So I decided to try out uh, freshman year for soccer team. Um, <laughs> but the first year wasn't so great for us or myself uh, individually. Um, I tried out, I made it, but uh, most of the time I was just in the in the bench or I didn't free play. Uh, I wasn't really interested in going to practices, things like that. Um, but, um, so yeah, I found myself in this situation, like I, I didn't contribute anything to the team or, or the sport. Um, but then came a uh, sophomore year and then that's when it all changed. Um, Mr. Vegas, he was our coach. Um, we trained all summer really hard. Uh, Mauricio can tell you easily. Uh, we woke up day, day by day, sometimes even two times a day, working, working, working. Um, going, getting on a bus, 6 a.m., all the way to, like, uh, I forgot the name of the park, but it was, like, by the blue line. Um, and I found myself in a position where I felt, like, I felt really happy that I, I, at least I was putting in the work. But then came the, the regular season where um, we actually made it to the conference uh, championship, and that's where, where it all changed because I actually felt like I was part of the team. Uh, I met new people, like, all, like, all my teammates were like felt my like my family and like I felt like I was happy. And we ended up winning the championship that year, so it was like it all it all worked out. Uh, next year. <laughs> so Lionel Messi, as some of, some of you guys may know, he has broken records after records after records. Uh, he's compared to um, other players. Um, so, such as Pele or Maradona, if you guys can recognize him. Um, he, he's won championship after, ch at championship after championship with his club at Barcelona. But as a young uh, boy, he had challenges. He, had, um, he was diagnosed with a hormone deficiency that uh, uh, restricted his growth. So, he, he's, as, like, if you guys know him, uh, he's pretty short, not that tall, but he has become like one of the greatest players of all time. And I admire that because um, he doesn't just go for the money. Like he has love for the sport and love for 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 what he does. But at the same time, um, he's happy and in his position. He doesn't look towards the money. And our friend Billy over here, um, he can see, he can be seen as the same category as Messi, except that he's unhappy. He has he has the money. He doesn't have to work, but he's unhappy. So as you guys can see. Um, I feel like passion plays a big role in what, what you like, what career you choose. If, if you choose.
choose something that you're not uh, content with, then how are you going to work the rest of your life? Or how are you going to you gonna contribute? How are you going to get up uh, every day uh, from, from your bed? Um, and then uh, my second reference, uh, Kyle, um, Mr. he goes by the name of Mr. Technical Difficult. Um, I actually got the privilege of uh, interviewing him. Uh, he's a YouTuber. Uh, he has over two million subscribers, and um, it was really interesting, like, uh, like just asking him questions and seeing like his response, because he's a really humble guy, and he's um, like Messi. He he follows his passion. He's uh, 25 years old, and he's living his dream, uh, making videos day by day, just making people laugh, and that's like just that's just an another example of what like like what um, we should look for, like. Look for passion. Be happy. Not just uh, not just go for the money. Um, yeah. Um, so one of his um, something that drives him or his motivation is uh, his family, and I feel like that is perfectly fine uh, um, to use as a motivation. Like you you want you want to keep your family safe. You want to keep them happy, and that's that's my that's my uh, I guess that that's what my motivation uh, will probably be in the future, or will, what, what I want in the future. And lastly, uh, meaning of success. Um, everyone has a different definition of success. Sometimes, like I said, people look for money, or uh, sometimes people look for what makes them happy. But, um, but um, sometimes it's not, it's none of those things, because everyone's different, everyone thinks differently. Sometimes we just want to reach a goal or, or have something to be proud of, um, something that drives us or helps us move forward. And throughout these, um, throughout your uh, search to success, um, you're gonna have challenges, different different types of challenges. Like uh, our friend Messi here had, um, he wasn't able to grow. Um, he had different um, different people that uh, had um, doubts of him. So he, he he just proved them wrong with his style of play. Like he just watching him play is mesmerizing. He's really into soccer. And then so yeah, um, in general, I just want to say that all of this ties in together because success is different. It's different, and it's a mystery because no one ever knows what it really is. You just you just move on with your life, move forward. Uh, next slide. So uh, how does someone turn success into an exciting, exciting reality? So I have three key uh, characteristics, uh, gratitude, perseverance, and optimism. Uh, sometimes I don't apply them myself, but I feel like they're, they're actually good qualities to, like, to look for um, or to gain as, as you go through challenges uh, throughout life, college, all this stuff. Um, I feel that um, these, these uh, challenges will only make you stronger, or will only help you gain experience and um, uh, yeah, be what you want to be. So, um, so my end point, I just, I just want to end with uh, do what makes you happy. Don't don't go for the money, even though like, I mean, you can like money is part of being successful, but it just doesn't define what what you want to do. Um, hard work. Putting in the work will always give you the, the extra push to um, to the end result. So um, as you as you get older, you'll realize that success doesn't have a secret secret recipe, but it, it's it's just what you make it. It all depends on who who you are and how you find yourself.